recording again. Yay, I can. Okay, cool. Hello, everybody. This is TT95 here, and welcome to Bad End Theater. I get to hear my weird voices now. Welcome to the Bad End Theater. On this stage, we shall be toying with fate. You will make many choices, unlocking darker and darker paths, all in order to witness the witness a lovely variety of tragic events. First, but first, allow me to explain how it works. To begin the tutorial, select whichever doll you like. You are the human doll. You are the demon doll. Uh, sure. You are in control of the human doll. You are a friendly little guy. Just minding your own business. How will you interact with the demon doll? Hostile or play nice? Attack it or play nice? Play nice. You try to make friends with the demon doll, but it kills you in cold blood. How ruthless. You found your very first bad ending. But don't worry. The story needs need not end here. Let's restart reset the stage and try again. This time try controlling the other doll. You control the demon doll. You're a Fierce looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the human doll? <laughs> Wicked attack it or play nice? Play nice! You and the human doll are able to set aside your differences and become pr friends. Why this isn't a bad ending at all, I sh should have written out this possibility. It's just not suitable in my theater whatsoever. Now you, now that you know how the story goes, you can set the doll's behavior in advance. As you just saw, these behaviors will automatically be set to whatever choice you choice, whatever you choose during your last playthrough. But now you can teach. You can turn each one on or off, whatever, wh without having to replay from the that doll's perspective. Yes, my theater actually doubles as a puzzle game. Oops, sorry. Now, try turning the doll's behavior on and off to see the differences, different outcomes. Hostile. You control the, the demon doll. Your fan, your free, fierce looking guy, just minding your own business. How will you interact with the human doll? Play nice. You try to make friends with the human doll, but it kills you. End tutorial. Restart stage. What if they're both hostile? You control the human doll. You're a friendly looking guy. Just minding your own business. How will you interact with the demon doll? Attack it. You both attack each other at, at once and die together. Aw. I'm done. Do you understand how to play? Yeah, I get it. This is game saves your progress automatically so just relax and collect all the bad endings at your own pace now without further ado let's start the show hmm. let's start as the overlord you are the overlord you live in a castle surrounded by your demon servants it's a pretty cushy life, you think. 
Except for those pesky humans who keep killing members of your army. There's even a role called hero whose whole purpose in life is to just th dethrone you. What the, what's their deal anyway? You're, you've acted, actively avoided pissing off the humans in hopes that they'll leave you and your army alone, but they never do. You still, you're still new to the whole overlord thing. Thing, if you're being quite honest with yourself, but you don't really understand politics, the politics of it. But you reminded you, but you remind yourself, everyone is just doing their best to fulfill their roles. You won't let them bait you into being an evil overlord. They expect. You think you're pretty cool and mature to hold yourself to the higher standards like that. One of your underlings walks into your room, totally interrupting your thoughts by how awesome you are. About how awesome you are. They're saying something about how boring it is to stand in one place guarding the castle all the time, especially since no one ever comes here anyway. You see their point, but the way they're whining about it is kind of bothers you. What do you do with the underling? Meh. Tell them to take the day off. You let them go and take a break from stand from the stifling castle atmosphere and refresh their and refresh their dark soul. A day off should be fine every once in a while, right? They thank you and happily scurry off to do who knows what. You have nothing better to do today, so you decide to nap for a little bit. Being the overlord sure is great. You awake to a huge commotion outside. A hero has swarmed sworn up and started shown up not sworn up shown up and started totally murdering your soldiers what the hell guy you rush out of the bat into the battlefield and confront this jerkwad you curse at him and very rudely acquire his reason you inquire his reasons for doing all this the hero yells at you, demanding you return the maiden you're hiding captive, holding captive. You don't know what he's talking about, but you can't forgive him his actions. You, you do battle with the hero, but he has grown strong from cutting down your army. You are unable to defeat him. With decisive swings he stabs and cuts you to pieces you fall and you have you, you fall you have failed your subjects you spit curses weakly and you wish you'd been stronger maybe you were never suited to be the overlord in the first place the truth was you were never that much more powerful than the demons who you serve who served you it was the title the control that gave you the strength these are your thoughts as you are swallowed by the darkness Ooh. conquered overlord end reset the stage okay Let's go with underling. You are a demon underling in service of the overlord. You aren't practic particularly strong, but not particularly weak either. That's what your friends tell you. Your job is to guard the castle and keep humans away 
It's unburdenly uh, boring. That is so, so loud. Um, heroes rarely come all the way here to challenge the overlord anyway. <laughs> it's a lot of standing in one place, standing, starting, staring at nothing. You feel like you're going are you gonna go crazy if you don't get a day get a break you decide to ask the overlord for a day off she's surprisingly cool with it nice you set out on your adventure outside the castle the change of atmosphere excites you you spend some time rolling around in the grass wild and free as you make your way along the path to the nearby human village, you encounter a maiden. She seems very frightened and screams for a hero to come save her. You considered your options. Gobble her up or tell her to quit yelling. Quit yelling! When the maiden realizes you're not going to hurt her, she regains her composure. Now she starts talking to you like you're a f your friends or something. You don't understand humans at all. You speak the same language, of course, which has always confused you, because why is there con conver conveniently only one language in the world? Conveniently one language in the world. If demons and humans have independent societies, wouldn't it make sense for them to have each to each have their own language. The maiden is going on and on about some kind of destiny she's trying to fulfill. The bottom line from what you get gather is that she wants you to take her to the Overlord. Sounds like it could be interesting. Besides, you have nothing better to do. Satisfied with your day out, you take the maiden back to the castle and present her to the overlord. They seem to be getting along just fine, so you decide it's about time for a nap. After a few hours of sleep, you're rudely awakened by the sounds of battle. You emerge from your room to find that a hero has slaughtered many of your friends and work Associates, what a jerk. Save yourself or avenge your fallen comrades. Um, let's go with revenge. Why does this guy think, who, who does this guy think he is? Coming here and killing everyone like some menace, like some menace. What did we ever do to him? You lunge at him while he's busy driving his sword into the guard who sometimes brought you food whenever they noticed you were feeling kind of down. You like that guard. You wish with all of your demon heart that this hero, for this hero to suffer for his deeds. You bite into him, tearing the flesh from his bones. It tastes like iron. The hero struggles and you feel his sword go through you, but there is no pain, only or only re reper repetition. More of your comrades pile onto him as your consciousness fades. The hero is overtaken. Your army has won. You have earned your rest. Victorious underling ending. Okay. Let's go with the maiden. You're a maiden. You live in a peaceful village next to a spooky demon overlord castle. 
You are told that you are fated to be captured by the Overlord one day because you are a beautiful young girl. Demon warlords apparently love capturing those. You think of how you're, you haven't heard that of that actually happening to anyone, but manage to, but, but maybe the demons just haven't been given the opportunity. Who knows? You're in church, you pray to your god, asking why you haven't been born, why you have been born into this role of a maiden. You respect the divine plan and all, but you're really cu just curious as to what the point of it is. You are impatient. Meeting a demon actually sounds pretty gosh darn exciting. Maybe you'd understand your role better if you were just you if you just hurry up and get captured already. You leave a note and venture forth to find a demon just to, you know, see what happens. Not long into your little adventure, a demon underling appears before you. It looks pretty scary. Interesting yourself. You tell the demon your name and explain that you're a maiden from the village. You tell them that you were thinking about thinking maybe you could understand your role better if you were to hurry up and get taken away by a demon already. Aww. The demon doesn't seem to have really been listening to you, watching a little, uh, in, in, in flower. Let's just see flower, because there's a flower there. <clears throat> they agree to take you to their master, nonetheless. After a long walk to the castle, you are introduced to the overlord. You explain you why you've came um, and she squints at you. It turns out she's n she never had any plans to capture maidens or to do anything less else that would irritate the humans. You wonder for a moment if she might be lying, but it doesn't really seem like it. Still, this doesn't make any sense to you. You've always been told that demons would one day seek you out and some t something awful would happen. Then a hero would come and, sa and rescue you. To your rescue. You don't know what to believe. You've been lied to all along. Maybe it's just that you haven't been maiden-like enough. You ask the Overlord what you should do to be a more suitable maiden, but she doesn't seem to understand. Just go home and stop worrying about d destiny so much. She makes it sound so simple. This Warlord seems like a complete, the complete opposite of you. You want to learn more about her and how she thinks. You in insist on staying and talking with her more. The warlord, warlord, <laughs> the overlord shares many stories about demons with you. And little by little, you realize they might not be the ruthless monsters you were raised to believe. As it turns out, she com meant commands her demons to avoid towns and villages. She doesn't want to risk giving the humans any excuse to send a hero out after them. You realize that must be why you never heard of any demon attack uh, demons attacking your town. You expect express your gratitude to the reward 
why do I keep on saying warlord? Overlord. On behalf of your village, she says you can thank her by telling the humans to stop raising heroes. She's tired of her servants getting killed off by them. You always thought demons were violent and unreasonable creatures, but it seems the over overlord could say the same about humans. You may be different, but they really just they're really just trying to live their lives the same as you. You feel like you're standing starting to understand things a lot better. But maybe everything I've said was a de- de- deceive to deceive you and the other humans. What would you do if I turned out to be super evil after all? Even if she were to capture you now, you think this place is far more interesting than the ways way things are back home. You kind of like not being told to expect demons to come after you after all the time. You feel free. Honestly, you always kept to yourself, but spending time with this overlord has you has been very nice. You feel uh, feel butterflies in your stomach. But then a human barges into the room. His clothes are stained with, by dark liquid. It's dripping from his weapon, too. You realize this must be demon blood. Something horrible has happened. Confused, the hero asks you what's going on. You explain the situation, realize, reassuring him that you were never in any danger. The overlord has walked past the hero and out the into the hall. She's wailing. You can only guess what kind of horrible scene he's left for her. The overlord tears the hero apart in translation. Re- re- you watch silently, unable to scream. The overlord who you had just been getting along with so well has killed another human right in front of you. It's clear now that you had been deceived by her sweet words. Demons are ruthless monsters after all. You somehow managed to slip past the warlord overlord and make it out of the blood soaked castle. You never look back. Escape Maiden Ending A. <clears throat> Reset scene. Hero time. You are the hero. You like to think of yourself as a pretty rebel and swell guy. Reliable and swell guy. Your life has been rather ordinary, aside from the occasional heroic adventures fighting evil monsters and whatnot. You are told a maiden from your village has been kidnapped and is likely being held captive at the nearby demon overlord's castle. Who even puts a village right next to where an entire demon army hangs out? You don't get it. You happily, you are happy to protect the townspeople, though. You were born to play this role. You head off on your adventure to rescue the maiden. But demon soldiers block your path. You could kill them to gain experience. Um.
flee like a coward or bravely slaughter the evil creatures. You make quick work of the vil vile creatures who stand in your way. You feel much stronger now. After a lo long trek, you make it to the castle's front gates. You are for faced with an army of demons that all look very intimidating. There's no way to sneak past these monsters if you want to reach the Overlord. Cut through them, through the demon army, ask if they let you in! You attempt to explain why you're, you've come, but the monsters before you is eyeing you suspiciously. You can't help but notice the demon blood from earlier. Oh, wait, they can't help but notice the demon blood from from earlier. You haven't had a chance to wash up yet. Whoops. <laughs> you have no choice but to fight the army in self-defense. Oh well, more experience points for you. You make your way through the castle, fending off all the demons that stand in your way. You make it to the Overlord's chambers and hope you're, and hope you're still in time to save the maiden. You find the maiden being held captive by the Overlord, just as you suspected. But for some reason. You can't sense any sinister, anything sinister happening. You all look at each other in surprise and confusion. This is no time to hesitate. Destroy the only lord and ask. <laughs> uh, sure. Ask the maiden what's going on. She explains that she came here on her own. And was never in any danger. She hesitantly asked why you're covered in blood. You don't know how to respond. The overlord moves past you and out the door to see her army in lifeless body piles. Bloody piles. She wails. She's wailing. It's horrible. This is your chance, hero. Stab her while you can. This is all just a big misunderstanding. <laughs> Stab her. You lunge forward, driving your blade through the evil overlord. She screams and falls silent. The Overlord has been slain. You smile, offering the maid in your hand. She takes it after slight hesitation. She must be surprised at how strong you are. You ask her or the you escort the maiden home. She oddly she's oddly quiet on the trek back to the village. She must be too shy to speak. The villagers are very pleased with what a good job you've done slaying the overlord and saving the hostage. They've thrown a huge celebration in your name. You remember you are remembered for generations as the greatest hero of the village the, the village has ever seen. Triumphing hero and <clears throat> Reset the stage. Okay. Hmm. Well. I'm gonna leave that one here for right now. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, comment down below anything in general. And this is TT95 signing off. Bye guys!